Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, hopefully you enjoyed some of that sunshine that we had today. It actually was a pretty nice day. Temperature, uh, temperatures were in the 60s. We topped out mid 60s for most areas. It was windy, though. Those gusts were upwards of 30 miles per hour at times today. Looking outside at the capital city, things are quiet. Winds aren't nearly as strong, but it is still a little bit breezy out there. And temperatures now back into the 40s for the most part. Now, some areas still in the 50s as well, but we're going to bottom out in the mid 40s overnight tonight into tomorrow. And also, we'll be tracking some showers by the time we get to tomorrow as well. But right now, not a whole lot on the radar here close up, but I'm going to expand the view for you. You can see off to the west, there's some light showers across eastern Pennsylvania, parts of New Jersey, and into New York. So again, some of those are going to be making their way towards us by the time we get to our Tuesday morning commute. Temperatures right now back into the 40s for the most part. Westerly's hanging on to that 51, Newport 48, and uh, Providence checking in at 47. So pretty much where we will be all night long, these temperatures should hold, hold steady during the overnight hours. Showers on Tuesday, and again, very scattered in nature, not going to be a washout. But that chance is there through the entire day. Staying unsettled midweek, mainly the cool temperatures and the clouds will be around. Uh, not much in the way of any heavy rainfall, but that shower chance does continue over the next handful of days. The good news is, though, we hope to finally shake this pattern and get us some more warmer temperatures by the time we get to the weekend. Satellite and radar, the wide view again. Clouds off to the west as well as some showers, too. These will make their way towards us again overnight tonight into tomorrow. All with a low pressure system that's near the Great Lakes region. This uh, big red L here, and this is what it looks like in the atmosphere uh, with the, uh, the circular flow, the counterclockwise swirl. You can see these clouds kind of going back this way and... Again, that's going to be with us all week long, and that's why we're going to be seeing the clouds from time to time hanging out. And this system is moving pretty slowly as we go through the next several days, so it's not really going to be out of our neck of the woods until we get to about Friday. So again, most of this week will have uh, our weather influenced by this system. So let's time things out for you again. Going through tonight, clouds build in after midnight and during the overnight hours some clouds as well or some showers as well make their way into the picture uh, for tuesday morning seven o'clock again notice there's some of these uh, areas of yellow oranges and reds that indicates maybe a passing downpour for the morning commute so looks to be a little bit on the wet side when you're heading out the door for work and school uh, the good news is though again not a washout some shower chances continue uh, across the area for the uh, daytime hours but uh, again, light rain for the most part across our region, and uh, we do clear things out in time for the nighttime hours for Tuesday. So here's that seven day forecast again. The shower chance continues all day long for Tuesday. It's going to be breezy as well. Temperatures topping out about 55 to about 57 or 58 degrees, and then those 50s stick with us through the week with our uh, cloudy skies. And uh, we're looking at, again, a shower chance pretty much every single day. And we'll finally shake this uh, weather pattern by the end of the work week into the weekend. We'll see some warmer temperatures and maybe even 70 by next Monday. It's tough clouds, no sun, and lower than average yes, temperatures. It's not the ideal forecast. you got to shake this <laughs> pattern. All right, thanks, Stephen. Coming up.